Hi everybody. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to put a letter plate and mailbox into your panel lift garage door. So I'm going to have him mounted just about there. So uh, let's get started and I'll show you what to do. Okay guys, so I've got all my stuff here ready to go. Um, I got a 250 millimeter letter plate. A small color bond letter box very simple very uh, very light uh, most important that it's very light a couple of 12 millimeter nuts and a couple of uh, 8 mil washers now the the idea of the nuts and the washers the washers want to be big enough to cover the nut and small enough to uh, accept the th the bolt that uh, mounts the letter plate in so I'll just put them to the side you're going to need a uh, a drill, an angle grinder, uh, an 8mm drill bit, and that's pretty much it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've chosen the panel where I'm going to put the letter plate. Now, uh, the card in the back of the packet just happens to also be a template for the holes. It's not a template for the cutout, so don't make that mistake. The outside is the full size. So the cutout will be smaller, but this is good for marking the holes. And now we just simply mark where the holes are going to go. And mark the center. They're quite small. I think it's quite easy to uh, eyeball the center of that. Now we just need to drill those out and you'll have your two mounting holes. Okay, so um, it's like before, I'm just going to make a small center punch just to keep the drill nice and steady. Okay, I'm just going to take that off. Now we're going to need to repeat the 8mm hole in here as well. Uh, these are designed to go into brickwork, so. Um, Normally you wouldn't have to bother, but because we're only going through a very thin sheet of metal, uh, the mounting hardware is actually much deeper than the thickness of the metal, so these holes need to continue into here. So again with the 8mm. Okay, so now the directions on, on uh, the letter plate tag say uh, it's a 35mm hole, uh, which this is a 35mm opening across here. However, because we're going uh, onto a hard steel surface, this hardware here is going to have to fit inside the slot as well. So we are going to need to make the hole a little larger. I need to allow for uh, the hinge and the spring hardware to all fit inside the metal so that this the surface here can butt flush up against the metal of the door. So I'll mark that up and then we'll get cutting. Okay, so I've got that all marked up there now. You can see I've used this line here to minimize my cutting. All right, leave that factory edge there. And then I've come out uh, my required distance here and here. Now I need to cut this out. Now, like I said, I've made that a little larger so that the hardware uh, of the hinge and the spring can fit inside this slot. Uh, so now I just need to cut that out and this part, the box is ready to go. Okay, so uh, I've got my box mounted in the vise, uh, wrapped up with a towel to protect it from any scratches. Uh, not so tight that I crush it, but firm enough to hold it in position. And we're going to cut that out. So here we go.
Okay, so uh, that's all done. Now I've popped that into position, and uh, you can see the hard, all the hinge hardware and the springs have all fit inside the box now, and the flap just opened, so that should fit neatly up against the metal of the door. Now basically, uh, I need to repeat that cut in the garage door, so I'm going to pop this out, put it into position on the door, and scribe the inside of the door, and then cut it out. So. We'll okay, so. I've put the box in position up against the door. Uh, I'm using a couple of 8mm drill bits through the holes just to locate it, but you can uh, do whatever you like. You can have someone side it for you, um, whichever way you like, just to make sure these line up. So I've got two there, and then I'm just going to scribe the inside of this up against the garage door now. And there we have nice straight guide to cut. I just need to cut that out and boulder up and we're done. Okay, so our hole's all cut out now, so I'll just try the leather plate on there. Um, we're on the inside, but it should fit exactly the same as the outside, so let's just try that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we just need to put that on the outside, bolt it through, and uh, bolt the box up. So I'll just clean all this up, so remember people's fingers will be going in here, so you want to make sure these edges are all nice and clean, no sharp edges from the grinder. But uh, we'll get that cleaned up and bolted up. Okay, so I've got all my edges cleaned up. Um, I've actually used a sanding block to take all of the sharp edges off there, so that is quite safe now to put your hands through there. Um, I've done the same on the box. Um, so I won't bother filming that, it's quite boring to watch, but um, yeah, quite important to just make that. You can see I can run my hands along that, no danger whatsoever. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to run a bead of silicon around there um, to protect from dust. Now, the outside of my door is under cover, so it's not for water protection, but if your door is exposed uh, to weather, you, you want to put a good bead of silicon in there. Mine is just for dust uh, to make it look nice. So I'll, I'll bead that up, pop that through, and then I'll come back in and we'll put the box up. Okay, so what I'm doing now, um, I've put my packer bolts on here and my washers. And I'm just going to tighten the nuts up without the box on uh, for two reasons. I want to pull the um, I want to pull the plate in nice and tight while the silicon sets, and also I want to get the nuts in here, and I'm going to cut the excess off these bolts here. And having the nuts on, I can wind them off, and it will clean the threads up and make it nice and easy to finish. Nice and easy to fit it all up. So I'll leave that sit for half an hour. The silicon dry out, everything should be right to go. Okay, so uh, the silicon's all dried up. Uh, that's all nice and firm now. So I'm going to take these. I've cut these off, finished them up so they're nice and smooth. I'll take the nuts off. Uh, the nuts should clear up any tiny little burrs that may be left, and bolt it on. Okay, so put the box in position. Put a nut up there, spare spacer, washer, just put the nut on the end there.
Tra. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is my mailbox. So on the inside of the garage door, opens up, check the mail, no problem. Okay, so here's our end result. <laughs> We're all done. Uh, I'll come out with a knife later and trim these little bubbles of silicon off when they're done. Uh, they still need maybe an hour to go hard enough to cut. Uh, but yeah, that's the finished product. So here we go. Awesome. Okay, so here's my mail. Easy to check from here. Or if I bring the car in. If I want to check the mail while the garage door is open. Easy. So cheers guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll see you next time.